Hi, Lou here to give my take on abstract games. Now, I don't design many abstract games because I prefer games that are models of something, of some reality, even if it's a fictional reality. Games that, uh, where the correspondence exists between what you do in a game and what happens in reality and so forth. You don't get that in abstract games. Abstract games are about a a purity of just game and as such to me they should be games that have only a few mechanics so that players can easily learn the game and then concentrate on playing the game well now you can think first of all of chess go checkers tic-tac-toe and the like as those pure games with just a few mechanics what I don't care for, although they are popular, is abstract games that are puzzles. And as puzzles, they're often made to be complex so that the puzzle is harder to solve. Now, this is especially common nowadays in Euro-style games. Euro-style games used to be simple, and many still are. But we also have the examples of complex puzzles that take a lot of effort to solve. In other words, something more interesting, I suppose, for some people than those simple abstract games. There's also mechanics salad, where some mechanics are thrown together and perhaps theoretically they represent something, but in practice there's no correspondence between what happens in the game and what happens in reality. It's just a bunch of mechanics thrown together according to what the uh, designer desires, and that's the game. Now you can do that, but most mechanics salad is not simple, and simple is what I look for. In fact, you've probably heard my motto before. A designer knows he has achieved perfection not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. And there are other versions of that. Einstein said that everything should be as simple as possible, but not simpler. And there's one about Japanese gardens as well. And they all amount to somewhat more elegant ways of saying, keep it simple, stupid. But that works in games. It lets people who are playing the game focus on the other people and not on mastering the mechanics. Whereas something like mechanics salad, you have to spend a lot of time mastering the mechanics. So what an abstract game is, is something that is the epitome of game is game where there are few rules and few exceptions to the rules. Now those can be hard to make that work really well, but are still interesting. One of my best games that it happens, which I call Law and Chaos, is an abstract game. And at one time, quite a long time ago now, I sold it to uh, Mayfair and they had it eight years. Fortunately, I got a pretty substantial advance out of it. And then Mayfair started to fall apart, of course, when the Catan left. And they finally disappeared and the game has come back to me. And now I need to find uh, a publisher. Unfortunately, abstract games are hard to sell. Because when people go into a game shop, for example, to buy a game, when they look at a game, they look at the art, and that's important. And then they look at the back and try to read the story of the game. Well, in an abstract game, there's no story. And I have, in fact, made up what I call bullshit stories for Law and Chaos and for another abstract game I've designed, which is quite good, but even simpler. Um, but I know they're BS, and I don't know how they would do in attracting people to buy the games. The reason Mayfair did not publish Law and Chaos was that abstract games are hard to sell. So you can do abstract games, but recognize that the market might be limited. Thanks for listening.